Hey guys, so in this uh, review, I'm going to be pretty critical about this product, but actually I think it could be really great with a few small improvements. So I'll have a separate video, which will be linked to down below, where you can see various different ways that you can improve this to make it actually very, very good for a sofa bed. And some of those will be really simple, like just adding a memory foam topper on top of it. And uh, some of them be slightly more difficult, not difficult, it just takes like an hour or so, just to cut up some foam and replace the internal uh, foam inside the cushions, which also makes it really, really comfortable to sit on. So that'll be in a separate video, just because I don't want this video to be too long. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, here's the review, and hope you like it. Feel free to ask me questions if you have any. Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, want to do a little review about the IKEA Askeby sofa bed because there's some important stuff that people should know about this that I wish I knew before I bought this. And uh, this is a, an affordable sofa from Ikea, about 200 pounds. It's not the cheapest that you can get, but it's fairly affordable, definitely cheaper than most of their other ones. And it was look, it looks good, and it's the size that would fit in my place. My opinion is that's much more comfortable um, than that. I mean, that's just horrific to sleep on. I didn't even spend a whole night on this. It, it's just really stiff. It is foam, it can squish down, but it takes time for it to squish down. It's kind of like memory foam that takes like five minutes to squish down and then doesn't bounce back up. So, um, I mean, it will eventually. Now to sit on, it's actually kind of fine, except you end up with like a dip. Let's say you were sitting there. Let's say your, your butt was quite forward. You were sitting like that. And then you wanted to sit forward. So you move like this, but now where your butt was, there's a huge dip if you were there for a few minutes. It's actually a fairly good sofa to sit on. Um, from most of the ones that I've used in my life, this is one of the better ones, I would say. The back pillow is really, really, really soft and really squishy. And I think that's what makes this such a nice sofa. Not this. This could be much softer and it'd be better for sitting on. And I don't like that it just keeps dips in it for so long. Yeah, you can see that's taking time to bounce back up. Okay, now I'm happy I bought this because you have never sat on anything this comfortable. That's 12 inches of memory foam, plus a really big, soft back pillow. That is fantastic. As a bed, I, I love that it's really easy to open and close. Remove it like that. And uh, you have a bed. And it's really easy to close as well. To close it, I mean, I literally just kick it with my foot. I really like the design of this. I mean, I think it looks nice. Probably going to be fairly easy to clean because it's like a fake leather kind of thing. The foam here is too stiff to sleep on, in my opinion. If I step on it with my foot, I can get it to squish down. But I mean, that's all my weight focused on one area. If I see if I try and push it with my hand, it's actually not squishing down very much. And your body is spread over such a big area that it just doesn't feel like it's squishing down. Except it is really slowly. So after five minutes, you get like a dip under your butt. And then when you maybe turn to your front, suddenly you have a big dip under your front that's not coming back up. Um, so I didn't even spend a night on this. Something to keep in mind is that foam or mattress directly on the floor, if the um, moisture goes down to the floor, then you might end up with a wet floor at the end of the night. Um, so that depends on like the weather and whatever, I don't know, and maybe like how hot your floor is or how cold your floor is. I might add some wheels to it, which would increase the height just a little bit, and then add some wood underneath that. I don't know, I'll post a, an update video. Now that's another issue there. It's um, what looks like foam in the photos is wood. And as you just heard, something there is breaking. So first of all, it's not strong enough to stand on. It's only about half an inch of foam. You can see that's not squishing down very much. Whereas here, and it's making cracking noises, which is ridiculous. I, I think it's, it's like whoever made this product really, it's like, how could you try this out for five minutes and then think it's a product that's ready for, you know, to be sold. I'm not sure if you can get this on eBay or Amazon. I'll try and find links and put them down below. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this useful and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.